Hey boys and girls, we are going to uh, talk about what we're doing for today's math. It's going to be a lot like yesterday's, except we have a few different activities. So we're going to click on November 23rd, and we're going to go to Tuesday. So our first one is Thanksgiving word problems. And just like yesterday, you want to make a copy. And you want to rename that copy your name up there at the top like we did yesterday. And um, it says read and solve each problem. There are 12 of these problems. So I'm going to say um, for you to just choose four. So you can read through and just choose four of the problems. So it um, doesn't matter which ones, and I can go through and see which ones you answered. Some of these are going to be um, multiplying, some are going to be dividing. So you can do some work um, on paper or however you choose to your dry erase board, and then you can put your answer in here. So for example, this first one, Samantha is making rolls for Thanksgiving dinner. She is cooking for a large group of 48 people. She wants to cook enough rolls so that everyone can have six rolls each. My, how many should she cook? So I know that you probably wouldn't do your work on here, but I do want to see. So for example, I would write 48 times six. I'll work it out somewhere else and then I can put my answer in there like that. But I do want to see what you're doing. So don't just um, put your answer in there. So you're gonna choose four of those. Um, our next one is equivalent Thanksgiving plates. So this is reviewing equivalent fractions. And you are going to match the food to the plate by finding its equivalent fraction. So we can look here and I know that 4 eighths is equivalent to a half. You can probably look around and see some more halves. There's some mashed potatoes and gravy that's five tenths. I know that's equivalent to a half. And you will continue to do that and then share it. And the last one is pumpkin pie sort. And you're gonna name it your name. This is, um, Multiplying and dividing with powers of 10. So we're needing to carefully look at these decimals. And we're saying what could go here. So this is 8,894 divided by something equals 8,894. So I know that's going to have to be 1. So we're going to put the pumpkin on the pie where it belongs and then you'll go through and answer the next ones and keep on going down and then you'll share that with me when you're finished and that's what you'll be doing for math today